out uh, in the car yesterday, racking up a bit of mileage, and a uh, problem arose. Oil pressure, and um, one of those shit your pants moments, because if you've lost oil pressure, then the engine is pretty much toast. But in this case, it wasn't loss of oil pressure, it was my spell gauge. So I'll just show you what the problem was. It's probably fixed itself overnight. Right, so I was in third gear, just done quite a long run. And there you go. You can probably see that. So what it's saying is that um, I've got an oil pressure of 107 PSI at idle well not even at idle with the engine off so you can see there the peak 116 in the past so something's gone wrong with the gauge um i'd imagine the sender's probably broken but obviously you can imagine i was driving uh first thing is when that starts flashing red it's flashing to tell me it's over pressurizing but the first your first response is to think oh sugar something's gone wrong and with an oil cooler if something does go wrong it's going to uh, be a hose or something like that split so I had a look um, sorry about the mess of the garage but it is a garage and it becomes a shithole I'll just put a light on so as you can see there is zero room to get access to the sender or sensor so the sensor is actually in the factory sensor location which is just down there so it does look very much like a supercharger off job to change it which is not going to be fun and they are like 90 quid for a sender. You can buy a new gauge for that. So that's probably what I'm going to opt for. I'm probably going to change the sender. Uh, not sender, the, change the whole gauge. Probably for the better. And just hope, uh, hope that I don't have a problem again. But yeah, it was a worrying moment. First thing I did was pull over or coast it. I was on the National Speed Limit Road found her somewhere to pull over and was obviously trying to smell and sniff to see whether the oil was leaking out but everything seemed to be fine and you can see the oil cooler's fine apart from that little nut down there that's come off of something um see so yeah, everything was fine it was obvious pretty obvious when i stopped the car and it still showed 107 psi that it wasn't wasn't the an issue with engine oil oiling so yeah i've got to look into that and if it is a supercharger off job then it does seem a bit pointless to have the supercharger off and to then put it back on again so i'm gonna have to look into that over the next few days all i've done for the time being is i've ordered a factory um, cheap replacement sender and i will see if i can change it in situ but I don't think I will because I need to unscrew the sender plug which has got a flat head in it which is not going to be easy so I'll have to figure something out so yeah that might be the sawning of the car I can't drive it without an operating pressure sender when you've got a car that's got an oil cooler um, you could split the oil cooler, you wouldn't even know. So yeah, that's just a quick update. Obviously a bit of a pain in the arse because it now means that the car's effectively off the road for a while. But um, it could have been worse. Imagine if it had come up that it was low oil pressure. Then that would have been something to worry about. I think I've had the spell gauge probably about six years now. And I've changed the sender before. Um... I can't remember why I changed it. Oh, it was water. That was it. Water got in it and it just stopped working. So, yeah, 
needs needs sorting out i'll probably try and get some modern gauge cluster that maybe got two or three built into one because uh that would be more beneficial they do actually do 60 millimeter gauges that do boost oil pressure oil temp so i might although it won't look great being there i might get a 60 millimeter one there we'll see anyway thanks for watching i thought i'd do this quick video just to show that oil pressure doesn't necessarily mean your engine's toast but it will give you a bit of a shock